Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, today I come out here and took a look at this tree and uh, I wanted to do an update. If you remember right, I grafted this tree and we have uh, Paul Paul's Conversion, Paul Paul's Conversion 2, Paul Paul's Conversion 3, and Paul Paul's Conversion four is what I'm shooting right now, results. This tree still has a lot of time to grow. We're up on the last day of June here in uh, North Central Ohio. Now this tree right here, as you remember, I placed 11 grafts into this tree. And so far, it is looking absolutely great. And right here, though, I have uh, one graft that's stalled. That's why we have this emptiness right here. But we'll see what happens. I had them stall like that before, and then the following year they take off. But one thing that I will tell you that I've noticed in looking over this tree uh, that uh, I wanted to share with you is it's doing almost the same thing as Rigel did last year. Now... I have a scion right here. I did a inlay uh, type graph, not a bark inlay. A bark inlay, it's two slits. This here is just one slit. Pull the uh, bark back a little bit and tuck in behind it. Gives you better stability in the wind. And but the thing I wanted to point out that I wanted to share with you, this is growing, but I have fresh growth coming from the stem that's coming off the scion right here and I have it over here and there's another one coming out right there that was something that I noticed about Rigel Rigel and Canopus are siblings more than likely seed came out of the same fruit which means Rigel and Canopus can pollinate one another and I have Rigel here behind me just wanted to give you an update. Remember what I said about coming in here and knocking off any green that tries to grow? I still inspect the tree. But something that I've come to find, over a period of time, it gets to a point to where the green is not coming, no longer trying to come off of the root stock. The root stock is now willing to feed the scion. The scion is demanding the energy from the rootstock and the energy that the rootstock was trying to put into its own growth pretty much stopped. The demand for the energy going into the scion has taken over. And I've been taking still pictures of this every few days and I'll do a slide show with it and share it on the uh, Paul Paul Chronicles Facebook group later on, probably towards the end of this year. And we'll get to see the tree in its entirety as far as how it's grown. Although I'm not really liking this empty space right here, but I'm still happy with what it is that I'm seeing. I'm very, very pleased that this tree is taken off. It's a hot one. I just wanted to share the update with you folks on uh, the channel of how the tree is doing. It's doing very well. Not bad at all. It was a seedling I bought from an Amish guy that I had explained a long time ago. To make sure uh, it's a piece of grass. And uh, it uh, the tree itself, the rootstock itself, is probably about six, maybe seven years old. I bought it from the Amish guy. It was already about that tall back in 2018. It was about a three-year-old tree whenever I bought it. But just something that I wanted to share with you, the top work that I did on this tree. Well, I got some more stem trying to grow out of this also. Paul Paul's, amazing little trees to deal with. Well, anyways, 
my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.